first move. We see knight from b1 to c3 by stockfish at the highest level using the chessop board. So this already makes it impossible for me to play pawn to d5 because stockfish is playing without pawns. So now d5 is attacked by both the knight and the queen. So that would be a blunder. I would simply lose that pawn. Okay. I think I will try to uh, defend d5 by playing pawn to c6 like this so that I can play pawn to d5. Okay, we see bishop to g5. So the challenge here, of course, is that I am playing against the strongest chess program in the world, Stockfish. Uh, but since I am just a mere human and not even a particularly strong chess player, I took away all of Stockfish's pawns. Um, however, that uh, allows white with no pawns here to have their pieces spring into action uh, very, very quickly. I will try out the pawn to d5 move here. And uh, I thought it would be like a cool experiment to see uh, bishop to c3 just to see how uh, how the, the silicon monster here would approach the situation. Now I see this uh, trade of the bishops being offered with bishop to h3 and I am a little bit inclined to say well thank you very much uh, because I feel that uh, exchanging pieces may be quite good for me. Um, so let's try to play bishop takes bishop. Now, I guess, okay, we see rook takes, and I guess the point here is that I can't really uh, chase this bishop away with pawn to h6 because the rook pins my rook. Um, so a lot of the chess principles that I would normally use, um, I can't use. Um, how about developing a piece with knight to f6? Um, so I basically want to keep my opponent's pieces uh, back in a way uh, because if they are allowed to orchestrate an attack and just jump all over me, then I could have a very serious problem. Then, uh, then the lack of pawns may actually turn out to be an advantage. Also, it's very, very hard for me to calculate the opening moves here because all of my usual calculation tricks, they don't seem to work that well. So after knight f6, we see knight to f3, and they don't really seem to work that well because uh, they are sort of, I, I try to use a, a trick where I study the opening position in chess and uh, study opening variations, but this is of course a completely original position and it's different from chess, from normal chess, so it's harder for me. I think I will try to control the e5 square. I would like to play pawn to e5. Um, so maybe a move like knight to knight from b to d7. 
so that I can play pawn to e5. Okay, queen d2 from my opponent. What is that about? I am not sure. But I think I managed to kind of control the center. Can I play pawn to e5 here? Pawn to e5. Bishop takes knight, pawn takes knight. That looks okay. So I think we try pawn to e5. And if the pawn gets pinned, oh wow, king f1. So I guess that's because the computer wanted to make room for uh, rook e1 one pinning the pawn um, and perhaps I can anticipate that with a move such as Bishop to d6 here so I feel I'm doing okay okay now we see Knight h4 that's immediately targeting the f5 square okay so an f5 so it's going after my light squares okay do i want to play a move like pawn to g6 to take away um, or do I want to castle that looks dangerous um, do I want to play something like queen to c7 um, it's so hard to figure out what to do here so castling is a move, but it looks very dubious. Pawn to g6 looks very dubious. Um, because it would weaken the, the dark squares around my king. Um, do I have any aggressive moves? Um, no, I think queen c7 may be pretty good here it defends the bishop so after knight f4 we do see knight f4 um, the problem is that we also have a threat of knight g7 check which i can parry with rook g8 i could still castle it just looks so so dangerous It's pretty, it's pretty crazy how dangerous the machine is. Like I am up eight pawns <laughs> and it's, the machine is just being super aggressive. And it, of course it can attack me extremely fast. I think I will play this very odd rook g8 move, rook g8. Now it's very okay. So now we see rook e1 as we have discussed. Um, can I castle maybe to the king side or to the queen side rather? Is that um, is that going to be possible in this situation, or will? Pawn to h6 be possible. Um, pawn to h6. Bishop, bishop takes knight. Knight takes bishop. Knight takes bishop. Queen takes knight. Pawn to h6. Is that a good move here? long castle 
I would so like, I would so like to trade off some pieces, because that would make my advantage, the material advantage, bigger, and I would be under less pressure. Pawn to h6. And is there some tag take? Bishop takes. Pawn takes. Rook takes. And how about pawn to h6? Knight takes bishop, check, king t queen takes knight, knight, e4, utilizing the pin that would then be on this, but then I, that's, I can capture that, but then recapture, I actually think The idea thing, I think I will cast long here, um, but uh, this uh, position, it's very, very, okay, so none of that, instead rook g3, okay, so how about playing pawn to e4? Is that, is that going to be possible? Is that legal? Pawn to e4. Knight takes bishop. Check. Queen takes knight. Knight. Knight takes pawn. Knight takes knight. Rook takes. So that's, that would actually be at the sacrifice of a pawn. So that's not ideal um, how about h h6 now i'm also just curious about the way that stockfish is playing this um, how about okay we we will try pawn to h6 we will try it out pawn to h6 so I, i'm still alive Oh. oh, a bolt from the blue, knight to b5. So the point is that if I capture the knight, which I may end up having to do, um, then rook c1 will pin the, the queen. So let's see, pawn takes, knight, rook c, rook c1. The problem is this knight, this bishop here, is so exposed. It's so, wow. It really got me. So pawn takes knight, rook c1. Queen takes, rook, check, queen takes, check, bishop back to f8, I guess. Oh my god, I can't believe, <laughs> I can't believe this, it's so crazy. And the problem is, if I just capture the bishop, then I think it won't even take the queen. It'll just play knight takes bishop check. I guess, I guess we try this. Pawn takes bishop. Yeah, bishop takes, knight takes bishop. Check. King b8. And I'm just getting absolutely... Absolutely destroyed. Knight takes queen. King takes knight. And then how the how will the knight, knight get out? Um, probably knight f five. No. Queen. 
jumps in, now threatening on b8, which I have to defend with pawn to b6. <laughs> this is crazy. Now the knight plays knight takes on f7. So the queen will come in to d6, I guess. We will try rook on d to f8. Just to try to be a little bit aggressive. The queen comes into d6. Check. I was thinking I could go here to b7, okay, queen to e7, that's attacking the e5 pawn because now the pawn is pinned, the knight is pinned I mean, so I guess I have to play king c7, wow, and now rook to rook to f3. Thing is, like, probably I'm still even winning. Uh, what's the material count? Rook cancels out, knight cancels out, so I have, they have a queen, I have a knight. So they are up six points, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pawns. Um, so I am still a little bit ahead in material. Not that it matters. Um, and the rook here, the rook move, what was that about? It was about this knight now being able to come and capture on e5, I guess. Um, so that there won't be any... Okay, so I play pawn to e4. Maybe. Okay, rook takes knight. So there's some combination. Pawn takes rook. What's the combination? Check. Oh, okay, I see. So this is all over. Jesus. Uh, okay, I will have to make a follow-up video where I learn from this and, um, and try to make a, uh, a different strategy. Um, okay, so... It's, I'm losing everything. Okay, so here, because otherwise it takes here, it doesn't matter. Check. And I will actually be checkmated in a few moves. And you see, I didn't, yeah. Um, Now, there is no way to stop the checkmate. Unbelievable. I will allow it to do the checkmate because there is no way out. This is crazy. I thought I, thought I would have more enough of an advantage with eight pawns. But that's it's just, that's just crazy. How well it plays. Um, I don't. I don't even know what to do here. There's. There's no. There's no way to stop the checkmate. Like I mean, I can play this, uh, but it's. It just captures and. Uh, these um. These moves are just. And here. Checkmate. Wow. 
well played to my silicon friend. I will have to do a rematch immediately and I will see if I can adapt my strategy because this was crazy. I thought, like I, I really thought that not necessarily that I was going to win, but that I would, I didn't think I would be run, be, just get run over like that. It's just, and okay, so what did I learn from that? I learned at least that, um, <laughs> that the attack comes extremely quickly from white. Um, and that, that I really need to, um, I really need to keep their pieces, white pieces out of my position. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay. I'll, I'll set up the board again. See you in a few seconds. Here we are again, and it plays knight to f3, um, allowing me to open with pawn to d5, which we will do. And I must be very, very respectful of my opponent. Wow. Knight to e5. That seems wrong. Um, so, so knight to b, knight to c6. It's just going to pin that. So okay, so these, that I I don't think I can chase it away with f6 because queen check and. If I try some g6, knight takes, pawn takes, and queen takes h8, so knight to e5 is just a completely playable move. If knight to c6, then bishop to b5. If I play some something like bishop to d7, then queen takes pawn. Knight takes, no wait, let, let's see, knight c6, bishop b5, bishop d7, knight takes knight, well that's, that wouldn't work, knight c6, bishop b5, bishop d7, queen, takes pawn, knight takes knight, bishop takes, and then bishop, and then queen, <laughs> we are on move, on my second move, I have to do all these tactics, <laughs> on move two of a chess game, knight c6, bishop b5, Bishop d7, queen takes d5, knight takes knight. I guess it costs me a pawn. Um, I could also just play pawn to e6 to protect the pawn. Hmm. It's, it's so tough. Knight c6, bishop b5, bishop d7, queen takes pawn. Knight takes knight, bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes. Or I could play pawn to c6. That looks like what I was doing before. I think we will try pawn to c6. And we want to play something like, we want to challenge this knight. Okay, so knight here. Can we already see some knight sacrifice here? I don't think so. So I want to try to play knight, knight d7. So I 
guess the knight. Okay, knight takes knight. I'm so happy to see that. Um, do we capture with the bishop or with the queen? I guess the bishop, right? Bishop takes knight. Okay. So I feel. And now queen to d4. So I like getting rid of my knights. Um, but it's difficult. Like usually you would say. What do you guys think? Usually you would say that the bishops are better than the knights. Uh, but then in an open position the bishops are better but in a closed position the knights are better is this position open or closed it's closed for me but it's open for white uh, so i don't know i think i will try to castle um but it's the machine just takes so much control so freaking quickly um, how about I play pawn to e6? How about I play knight to f6? Knight f6 should be a pretty decent move. It should be. Okay, we will play knight f6. Yeah, and remember, uh, if you want buy this board yourself you can get it on pre-order i have a link in the description that will also save you 10 percent okay and now bishop to d2 kind of happy to see that move because it's not that aggressive maybe so i think we can try now pawn to e6 um, okay rook to g1 so the machine is really trying to discourage me from moving this bishop that makes a lot of sense can i try a crazy move like knight h knight h5 that doesn't really seem to do anything but you know what i will try to really See if I can castle in this game. I will play bishop. I will play pawn to g6. And then when bishop g5, the plan was bishop g7. So the question, of course, is how. Oh, I, I thought. It was going to try to attack this a second time, but instead it plays queen to b4. Can I offer a queen trade here, maybe? No, because queen takes queen, pawn takes rook takes rook. Um, how about queen e7? Queen takes pawn and then castles. And just say you can have one pawn that's fine if i play pawn to b6 how am i getting destroyed then i'm not sure i think pawn b6 looks pretty good queen to d6 then queen e7 we try pawn to b6 it's so difficult machine is just so so fast okay so bishop e2 no clue what that is about but i will try to get the queens off or can i in this position play pawn to c5 i don't think so it looks like an entry square pawn to c5 and then some magical knight jump to b5 but it would allow me to castle and i do have the bishop here so in fact i will try pawn to c pawn to c5 
Okay. Queen a3. So now the question is, can I castle? I will try to castle. Okay. So, okay, rook to f. So it's trying to go after the pinned piece, which is fair enough. We will have to get the bishop out of the way. The standard way it's, is like this. Um, oh, it just captures. That is very curious. Bishop takes, and then the bishop takes. And what's the trick? It castles. Wow. And maybe I am now able to get my pieces out. Did I repel the attack? Let's go with the check. Okay, and it goes king b a king b1. It's very difficult here to figure out because I would like to march these pawns, but I can move this pawn because then this one hangs. If I move this, then we can see knight knight e4. Um, but I mean, maybe that's okay. It just doesn't look very okay to me. How about trying to sacrifice the b6 pawn with something like pawn to b5, something captures, then rook b8, trying to say that we are somehow getting that back. I guess we will try that um, because what okay so it it sacrifices in a way that I just did not anticipate at all knight takes pawn on d5 I guess I have to capture that and then rook takes which pins uh, pins the bishop and what if I play what if I play queen e7 here what is the knockout blow okay So it protects this diagonal. Um, I can maybe play pawn to c4, attacking the bishop, offering a trade of queens, and so let's say c4, queen takes queen, bishop takes. Okay, but but then rook takes, and then pawn. Okay, so that doesn't work. So that doesn't work. How about pawn to b4 attacking the queen? It seems like it may help defend this pawn a little bit. Um, I wish I could get this bishop out somehow, and there may also be some nasty. It's so, so difficult playing against, the, against this, but I feel I'm doing better than I did last time. At least, like, I got castled and stuff. We could also consider a move such as pawn to a5, which I quite like, but maybe just pawn takes, or rook takes pawn is pretty bad for me there. I guess we, we do try this pawn to b5, b4 here. And... Queen a2. Alright, so now this queen is lined up against the king in a way that's um, a bit of a 
problem because moves like bishop takes pawn and then pawn takes and then discover check by the rook but what's interesting is that I thought that in a position like this I would be able to play bishop to e6 and it's pretty surprising to me that the bishop to e6 is not just a knockout blow here I will try the move just because I don't see why it's not good queen b3 so why is it I can't play bishop takes rook why can't I play bishop takes rook I guess we will have to see bishop takes rook queen takes rook um okay I'm doing like a million times better than I was in the last game how about a move like rook d8 now I think we will try rook d8 okay queen back to b3 so we do have it on the defensive to some degree here do I maybe want to even play rook takes bishop just to make the situation easier for me I think I do rook takes bishop that's an exchange sacrifice queen takes rook um, but everything is a little bit easier for my for me now um, then I think I will maybe try to establish the queen with the bishop on the strong diagonal towards the king okay, queen f3 that stops my plan of bishop bishop f6 but I can still play queen e a uh, rook e8 oh that's no <laughs> what <laughs> that was so stupid queen f7 king h8 that was so unnecessary that like that was completely 100% unnecessary uh, that was just such a stupid blunder but we have to take it because of queen f3 and here my hope was that I could exchange the queens by force queen e4 check queen takes queen rook takes should be good check queen takes rook takes rook check king g7 and it goes after this pawn which we will actually just defend and it goes after this pawn which we will also just defend and it goes to the d line and we will just try to queen a pawn Okay, let's try to cut off the king while also making this move possible and this move and here let's just try to checkmate actually here
check here, check there, 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 are we getting closer, check there, we can play Like at the very least, we can play rook a1 check, king there, rook takes rook, king takes rook. Yeah, I guess that's winning. Check. Or you even go there. I'm not running into a stalemate, you still have this square. And there. And now I could run into a stalemate, but you do have that. The machine has that square, so we will make a new queen. And um, okay, so you go here. It's just a matter of a little bit of technique. Um, what is going to be the fastest check there? What's the fastest check there? There, there. Check here and check there. Check there um so i don't want to run into any stalemates so that would be stalemate rook f7 would be stalemate um so i th think check there Check takes okay, this is a little bit embarrassing. Uh, the my very poor technique here, but uh, it did end in checkmate. <laughs> I should have, I probably had made in three, but yes, <laughs> after the initial humiliation, I actually succeeded in uh, in beating the machine. So, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this experiment particularly how it affects the rules of chess like are bishops better are knights better what what kind of strategy is good in this when you play like this uh, yeah thank you so much for watching uh, and if you want more content and if you want me to be able to reach my goal of making more advanced videos like i even have a small invention i'm working on and like then uh, I have a Patreon, the link is in the description, that's for the super fans, that's for the guys who really want to, want to see this channel, just go to the next level, um, yeah, so thanks for watching, I hope I will see you in the next video, bye.